So the project is called UV Smart Cool Playground, and it really is about transforming an existing integrative playground into a UV Smart Cool Playground as a prototype to show what is possible to provide safer play spaces. Through the work that we've done capturing heat in playgrounds across the council, we found alarmingly high surface temperatures. We found that this feels like temperature could be up to 60 degrees. This is a widespread problem because we're seeing in lots of lots of playgrounds not only the wrong materials but the lack of shade. These two things are really essential for designing climate smart playgrounds. Climate change in Western Sydney is particularly evident. It's something that's happening now and we feel the impact. We hope to provide evidence-based research that through using cool materials, we're able to reduce the temperature at playgrounds. This playground previously was covered in dark bark mulch. And I showed through the research that this dark bark mulch gets up to 80 degrees surface temperature. And now we put in a highly engineered material uh, that is made from plastic, from rubber, that reflects UV very much and not takes up infrared radiation as much as other materials and therefore it stays cooler. The idea here is that once these trees mature and provide the natural shade, we're able to remove this structure and relocate it at another location. We can demonstrate that we're able to retrofit playgrounds in a cost-effective manner, integrate natural green shade with artificial shade and in a way that it's a cost-effective solution. So prior to this playground, it, there was no sunshade, but the kids would always complain that the monkey bars were quite hot. It's fantastic that with climate change and everything that's happening, the council's taking that on board and actually building playgrounds and parks that children can utilise in the heat, especially out west. This project's been highly rewarding, working with industry, government and research, and I would just like to see that this gets replicated uh, throughout Sydney and New South Wales. We're leading the way uh, with our partners at the University of Western Sydney and I'd like to thank local government New South Wales and the state government for providing the funds and assisting council to be able to deliver such a fantastic project. Isn't that exciting where you see that kids are already happy and that helps me and is a huge motivation to continue with the work that I'm doing. So last summer was probably one of the hottest summers I remember ever having. We did have terrible bushfires in the area in January and the facility was used as an emergency evacuation area for both people and animals. We became aware of the grant funding available for increasing resilience to climate change through local government New South Wales. It was a great opportunity to do something to, to try and reduce some of those impacts of the heat on site. The project title was Heat Smart Showgrounds and it was really looking at how we could use the existing facilities here in a, in a smarter way, I guess, to tackle the potential impacts of climate change. We had an initial kickoff meeting with Council where we went through to understand from their perspective um, the different objectives they were keen to get out of the study. We then put a series of sensors around the site that measured the temperature and the humidity so we could actually understand what the conditions were out on site during those hot days. Then we also used a combination of um, drone and uh, iPad thermal imagery uh, to go around and assess the, the, I guess, the ambient conditions within the building to understand where the, the hot spots were across the site. The thing that really stood out to me on the thermal imagery was being able to see the difference that the materials made. So different um, materials on the ground or the roofing material did actually make such a difference to the temperature. Some of the greatest improvements we could see were quite easy wins. Uh, things like improving the level of landscaping across the site to provide that natural shade. Some of the other shorter term um, opportunities we found was increasing the ventilation uh, on a number of the older buildings on site where there's no insulation, um, just to help improve the thermal comfort. Knowing the risks that climate change presents to our societies and communities, we're really thrilled to be part of this, to, I guess, take a proactive stance, um, provide way that we can really, I guess, uh, lead the change and minimise those risks for the future rather than waiting for them to occur. It's probably one of the best investments we've made in this facility. We're protecting the facility against climate change. We're making it a more comfortable environment for the people and animals and everyone that comes to the facility. But the added bonus is the beautification of the site. 
making it somewhere people want to come.